Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at reciprocal graphs. We're going to start by plotting two equations. To plot equations we need to uh, find a table of values using the equation. The first equation is y equals 1 over x and we've got a table of values here. We're going to put the x values into the equation to find the matching y values. I'm putting in x equals minus 5 into the equation and I get minus 0.2 out of the equation. If you're struggling, use a calculator to do this. That's absolutely fine. I can still do this with every x value and I fill in the table for my y values. When I get to 0, I type 1 over 0 into my calculator. And that gives me a maths error on the calculator. There is no answer to this because you cannot divide by zero. It doesn't make mathematical sense. So we're just going to leave that blank because there is no answer to this, one over zero. But then we keep going with one, two, three, four, and five. And we get uh, all these uh, y values here which match the x coordinates. We now have the table of values and we can plot these on the table. So the first one is minus 5, minus 0 0.2, and it goes on the graph like that. So we're plotting the coordinate pairs onto the graph. When you're doing this, be precise. You want to be in the exact right position on the graph, otherwise it won't make a nice curve. And we plot the coordinates like that, and then we can connect the coordinates up like this. That is what the graph y equals 1 over x looks like. Now I'm going to do it again with y equals 5 over x. I'm going to put the x values into the equation to find the matching y values. And we're filling this in using our calculator. If your calculator is a table uh, function, you can use the table um, on your calculator to do this a bit quicker. And we filled in all the y values there. We've got our quant pairs, the x's and y's, which we can place on our graph like this. And we can connect them up like that. Remember, you can never divide by zero, so this is always left empty when you're doing reciprocal functions. All reciprocal graphs have that general curved shape where there's two separate curves, uh, kind of symmetrical to each other. And these orange lines here, these orange dotted lines, are imaginary lines that the graph never touches. Uh, these are called asymptotes. The graph just constantly uh, curves away from these lines and never touches them. Now, there's another graph I want to show you, and that's the graph of y equals 1 over x squared. And so again, I'm going to just fill in the table of values with my calculator. I'll do this quickly this time, and fill it in like that. So again, I did the exact same method as before, and then I started plotting the coordinates here. And you see it uh, draws a red line like this, two separate red curves, uh, with an asymptote in the middle. It looks similar, it's just because it's 1 over x squared. The squaring makes everything positive, so both lines are on the top of the graph. Okay, so we've learned of some different graphs today, all of them reciprocal graphs, and here are the three different shapes. The first one on the left will be y equals 2 over x, or something like that. The one in the middle will be y equals 6 over x, those first two are pretty much the same graph. One is just slightly bigger or slightly uh, stretched because there's a bigger number in the, in the numerator. And then finally, the one on the right is y equals 3 over x squared, or it could be y equals 4 over x squared, anything like that. And the squaring just makes it uh, go up to the top because it makes it positive. And those are the reciprocal graphs you need to know. Okay, it's time for a bit of practice. So you've watched this video and I think you've understood reciprocal graphs, but let's test your knowledge. Uh, task one, I want you to go through the examples in this video one more time and pause the video before each uh, example is done 
and see if you can graph those yourself using pencil, a ruler and graph paper. Then task two, I want you to match the equations, the five equations on screen, to the five graphs at the bottom. The graphs in the bottom are in the wrong order and they need to be matched with the equations. Okay, so pause the video now and go through these tasks, please. When you're ready, you can press play and I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. If you don't recognize the quadratic or the cubic graph, I do have videos on uh, quadratics and cubic graphs uh, for you, and that will help you for your GCSE exams. How did you do? Let me know in the comments how many you got correct. Thanks for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And if you'd like to see more of our resources or our videos, you can also check out advancedmaths.com for more. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.